Today on Truth Is, Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. Welcome. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and hit the like button down below. The Gospel of John chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. Verse 12 says this, But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Those who receive him, who receive Jesus Christ into their hearts, they are born again. They're made new and they become what? Children of God. To be new, to be made new on the inside means it changes the outside. A change in the heart means a change of action. It changes who I am. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. You're made a new creation. If you're in Christ, you are new. New on the inside, which changes your actions and who you become. The old has passed away. The old you, the old me has passed away. Those sins that we committed before, they're passed away. And the new has come. You're made a new creation. That's what it means to be born again. You are new. And that's something to rejoice in. Verse 13 tells us, Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. It's not works on our own effort. It's not in flesh. It's, it's of God. It's of grace by God. In fact, our salvation is by grace alone. We can't earn our way to heaven by no means. Uh, Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. So it doesn't matter how many times we have gone to church. It doesn't matter uh, how much we put in the offering plate. Um, that doesn't earn your way to heaven. Uh, it, it is a gift from God. It's by grace. So no one can boast. You can imagine if it was by works, we'd all be going around bragging and trying to outdo each other. It's a gift of grace. Salvation is a gift from God uh, that he gives us. You know, we can't inherit salvation. We can't do it. We can't inherit it through mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, no matter how many times they drug us to church. Uh, it's a personal relationship with Christ. We have to accept Christ on our own. We have to uh, seek him and it's, it's something between us and Christ, not between us and anybody else. We have to seek Him on our own. And it's a gift of grace that He gives us salvation. Titus 3.5 says, He saved us not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. So Scripture tells us over and over that, that it's not by our works. You can't earn your way to heaven no matter what you do. Your works are a result of what he's done inside you. Uh, they're a product of your salvation, not a means to get salvation. It's a product of. So when Christ comes into my heart, he changes my heart, which produces works for me to do. He's prepared those works for me to do, and then I do them. Then I, I come to church because I'm worshiping him. Then I put in the offering plate because I love him and I do the works that the church is called to do because he wants me to do that and then whatever he lays on my heart to do. John 6 44 says, no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up on the last day. In fact, the reason we have salvation, we can't even take credit for because he has to draw us into himself. In other words, God made me aware that I needed Him and drew me to Christ and then I accepted Christ as my Savior. So we can't even take credit for that and that's a good thing. He gets the glory. He gets the glory. We are new creations in Christ. Well, that's all the time we have today. Till next time, blessings.